Well, good morning, everyone. How are you doing this morning? I'm excited. I'm taking a break from packing the car. Yes, Diane and I are going on our next road trip starting this morning. And we want to take you with us. So we're going to do that. I hope you're going to enjoy the next few weeks. Now, we're going to intersperse some other shows in that. But primarily, you're going to see what we're seeing. Now, it's awesome. It's awesome territory. Oh, should I tell you? Okay, we're on our way up to Yellowstone. Now, we're going to see a lot of stuff in between. I think I, I know we're excited about going. We're excited about having you come with us through the medium of inspiration for today. But it is still inspiration for today. So during this time, I'd like you to get your Bibles. And starting in Genesis chapter 6, we're going to study the life of Noah. And not just life of Noah, but the flood and the results. And the reason we chose that is you're going to see lots of things that pertain to this story, including today, including today. I'll tell you about that in just a second. But we're going to start, chapter 6, verse 9 says, this is the account of Noah. You might remember the times. It was a bad time for, for the earth. And, you know, as you read through that chapter, the first part says, the Lord saw how great man's wickedness on the earth had become, that every inclination of the thoughts of the heart was only evil all the time. Wow. You know, mankind hasn't changed a lot <laughs> in what 5,000 years. Uh, no, it'd be more than that. 7,000 years. Uh, man's heart, <laughs> we know our heart, has wickedness. We sin. We sin. But verse 8, it says, But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And how did he do that? Well, <laughs> here's what it says, and this is kind of our thought for this day. Verse 9, Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time. And here's the key. And he walked with God. Noah walked with God. God. That's what we want to do. And this is not just going to be a trip to see sights. We want to walk with God through this. And uh, because this is God's creation, totally God's creation. He walked with God. Now, today, once we get the car <laughs> loaded up, and I wish you were here to help me do that, but you're not. I'll do it. Uh, we're going to head off to Arizona, and we're going to go to a place that comes highly recommended to us, but we've never been there. It's called Barazona. So we'll see what that's like, but here's the thing. Why it fits the story of Noah, what? We know a little further along, two by two, the animals go in to Noah's ark. We'll go over how he built that, and we're going to read through this, this passage, but we're going to see some of the animals that were familiar to Noah because he got to know them over being in the boat with them for a year. Uh, but let's see what we find. You're going to go just like me. And uh, so I'm going to pa pause off now. We'll come back on and we'll be at Arizona, which is actually just south of the Grand Canyon. And uh, so we'll see what we see. When it come, I hope you do. Okay, see you in a little while. Okay, friends, we made it here. And uh, we're not sure what we're gonna find. There's Diane, and she's taking a picture too. But, uh, so we're gonna go on in here, see what we see, see how many animals. Uh, kinda looks fun, oh, there's, there's a map up ahead. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll pause it until we get somewhere that we can see animals. But it kind of looks like a pretty place, doesn't it? We just went through the uh, we just went through the animal drive-through, and we're gonna when this video is over, we're gonna put up those pictures. And uh, I just encourage you, you know, Noah. 
Noah eventually, and we're going to come to it in our study through the, that passage, uh, you know, he builds the ark and then he has, he has two of each kind of animal. And so I want to encourage you, let's count how many animals we can find. All righty. That's fun to watch, isn't it? That we, it's loved, it's fun to be up this up close with God's creation. Here we have the raccoons and look at them go. I can hardly keep up with them. I can't seem to. There they are. Okay, we're at the, these are called, I've never even heard of them, javelina. They look like warthogs or something to me, but the sign says they're called javelina. So they're kind of, I guess you could say they're cute. Yeah, well, we'll see this one as we walk. Whoops. Very cool. And as we look at these, what you want to realize is God's tremendous creative abilities to have such variety in his animal kingdom. He loves variety. We've come to the fox exhibit. Fox, I don't know much about foxes. I wish this was two-way. I'd love to hear what you all know about him. But he's out looking. He's out looking, I'll tell you that much for sure. Look at him look, yeah. He's got other friends. He's got one over here that he's up there. He's up there looking right up at the top. Very cool, very cool. Okay, I think this is the last, what a fitting thing. I wish he were flying, but that's the American bald eagle. <clears throat> and I think something happened to his wing that he can't fly. And I think you can see him back there on his perch. Uh, but what I, what I wanted to say is that uh, this is just a sprinkling of the animals that God has created. And we're going to talk more about the ark in coming days. But remember the verse for today. And, it, and Noah was a righteous man who walked with God. And that's our challenge. Let's walk this day with our God. Enjoy the rest of the as we look at the animals that were, we saw during the drive through God bless. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Because no one knew God, no one loved God.